not going to buy these things because I, I can't see the colour of them. I think this one's probably clear because it's called Seize the Blue. So it, if it is blue, it won't go on your lips blue. And this one's something pink, poolside pink. And it's the same packaging as some cherry me. But uh, so I'm not enthusiastic about those two at all. But that was buy one, get one half price in boots. Right, this is just a clear one, completely clear, and it smells exactly the same as the original one, quenched or whatever we call it over here. So that's just the same as the, the original one, not even in such nice packaging. I'm not being on it. So this is baby lip poolside pink. I think it's the same as the um, pink shop or um, what's the other one called? Um, Oh, from the first collection. I think it's the same, really, as the f two from the first collection, quenched or hydrate, as they call it over here. So that's seize the blue. It's the same as hydrate, and this one is the same as the I'd say the pink from the first collection, not pink shock. That was the electro, pink punch. That's what I'm trying to think of. I think it's the same as that, but in like cherry me's packaging. So, yeah, I'm totally underwhelmed by this. I expect there's more in the collection. But, so they're just, yeah, they're called Baby Lip Sport. I must admit, I do like the bags. You get in, um, Superbug. I'm afraid. But I don't know what Maybelline think they're aiming at with these. I mean, I'm a lot of children buy these. I know it says on the side for adult use only. But it's just a bit of a car. I don't know if maybe they thought the success story of the My Pink one that was released in America with um, opaque packaging was so good, but then that was ombre effect with silver and it was pretty, but this is very, I mean that's exactly like Cherry Me, only it's pink, like Pig Punk, Pig Punch, and this one is quite... Well, I don't know. I mean, all right, some people might think these are the best thing ever and think they're wonderful, but this packaging to me is, you know, I mean, come on, Maybelline, you could be more imaginative than this, but this is really not even a very nice colour scheme. So, yeah, thumbs down for me. The pink, the pink one, the colour's okay, but that's all. Now there's this one compared to this one, the um, Valentine's one, and as you can see the colours are indistinguishable. The top one is this one, poolside pink, and this is the the one underneath is fresh pink from the Valentine's collection for 2017. It's exactly the same. This one tastes nice, smells nice, but that's the all. Now that one's gone down. Way to prove my point. There's fresh pink and there's this new one, poolside pink, and they're both exactly the same. See? Both exactly the same. A bit of a con, really. The only difference, of course, is that this one is mint flavour and smell, and this one just a sort of slight melony flavour and aroma. And here we are, I'm ready to show you what I miss. This is one of the ones I carry around with me. And as you can see, this has got the opaque top, but it's got the nice ombre effect. And um, the silver, the my pink. Whereas these are just... Nah, nah. Mm. I can't see the... I can't see what they're trying to do. It's like they're scraping the barrel, really, with these. That's just my opinion, I know. And some people may feel entirely differently, and that's perfectly fine, obviously, but... Yeah, I don't know where they think they're... It's like they've run out of ideas now. I mean, I could say, you know, plenty of ideas. Come on, let's have a black baby lips. Let's have a white one. Let's have a pearl effect one, like the Nivea pearl. Only a baby lips. And, um, you know, a shimmery one or someone with glitter in. I know that people don't like... Some people don't like glitter. I actually do, but I don't mean complete full-on glitter. But, yeah, anything better than this. I mean, you know... In different packaging, I would have loved this one. It smells nice and tastes nice. I like the smell of it. But, um, yeah, it's, um, the packaging, I mean, come on, how, how much more could it be like Cherry Me in the packaging? It's going to be really confusing for people to have both. And carrying around, yeah. I've said enough now, I think it's time. So, bye.